you've once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. <laughs> Alright. Looking good, Leon. Looking good. Ready? 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 Huh. Pull. Pull. Ready. Aim. Fire, but not really. Let's go and get that uh, knife equipped. Someone was asking me why I still have it. Well, I've grown a little fond of the little guy. Had him for quite a while. And, well, I use him to sink a little. Huh. But of course, every time I try to, and it doesn't matter whether I'm sinking or whether I'm fighting an enemy, he has to bang against some sort of wall. And I mean, it's not like he's got a lot to do. He's got one job. Frankly. He's just not cutting it anymore. Yeah, where is Ada? That's right, last time, last episode, on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. Well, Ada Wong got stabbed by... Something? I, I, I don't know. I, I assume that his name was said earlier at some point, but I don't remember what it was called. Anyway, she was stabbed by uh, another monster's claw. And we brought her in here, just so she could rest. And we went and powered up the labs. I believe that's what we did. Uh, we found a fuse from oh I don't remember a super from a superconductor or something, and we used it to replace the fuse in here, so that now all the lab is powered. I believe we finished everything that we need to in here. I'm just gonna go check right quick. Just to make sure. You know, can't be too careful. Let's see. Door is open with a card key, which we don't have. Shutter is firmly in place. And then this led to the freezer, if I remember correctly. Yes! I don't think there was anything else in there. So... If they're... Well, I'm probably going to get stuck. <laughs> so we'll probably be going back there soon enough. But for right now, I'm ready to move on to the next set of rooms. Let's move to the red door. Why not? Maybe we'll be able to find Ada in one of these places. I'm not ready yet to move farther into the labs themselves, so... Oh, and we now have zombies down here as well, I forgot about that. More resilient zombies, it seems. Oh, shutter switch, will you press it? Yep. Sure, why not? That was a bad idea. That was a pretty bad idea. Can we shut... No, we cannot press it again. Great. So we got plant creatures following us. Looks almost like stuff from Day of the Triffids. <laughs> Oh, man, I love that movie. Rock, Paper, and Mario showed me this movie about... Was it a meteor? A meteor that came to Earth and poured oil all over the place. Ooh. So I'm guessing... This? Burn that, son of a bitch. It's about this uh, meteor that hits Earth and... These plant monsters... Oh, we're going through the vent. I... That was probably a bad idea. Probably want to go back. Uh, I'm gonna go back quick. Go back. Go back. Okay, don't go back. No, 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 these are liquors, aren't they? Ooh, this is not good. Use that herb. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, that's not good. 
You are not looking good, Chris. Not at all. Also, lack of music. But anyway, Dave the Triffids. I don't need an ink ribbon. I need a first aid spray. And I cannot get a first aid spray. Oh, you're limping like... Oh, you're limping so much, Leon. I'm really sorry. And I keep mixing your name up with Chris. Even after all these episodes. I'm so sorry. Anyway. A meteor comes down. Destroys... Or makes everybody blind from the glare of it coming down or something like that. Or it's like comet or something. Something weird. <laughs> something weird. Something completely natural. Except for this one guy who's been having eye surgery. And these two... No, I want to check what that box is. And these two researchers in Antarctica who didn't go watch the meteor shower because they had work to do. And at the same time, there's like... Plants have started growing more intelligent because they've been infected by something from the meteor. I don't I don't really remember correctly. <laughs> and they start, well, attacking humans. <laughs> so there's these three people in the entire world that can actually see and are actually would be able to fight back against the plants because they can see. Aw, it's just great. It's just these giant bee sci-fi plant monsters attacking people for the entire movie. <laughs> Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontrollable biohazard breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in, in, in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. So I'm assuming we're going there. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. I'm guessing that's where we're going. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access must be may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. But anyway, it's I think you can get it for free since it's I think it's um public domain now. You get it's fantastic as well uh gas sprinkler please don't tell me that I'm gonna die from that <laughs> flamethrower now we're talking not bad not bad what I could use though is some health and I see those blue herbs but those aren't really gonna help me that much right now user registration Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. Username guest, password none. Valid for 24 hours. Not bad, not bad. Anything we can use. Anything we can use to heal myself. Oh man, if I had had that flamethrower with those liquors, I would have been fantastic. But, oh, of course, I had to be the idiot and go through the vent. I also had to be the idiot and not use the shotgun. I mean, come on, what else am I going to use them for? Well, let's get that flamethrower ready, because, I mean, we're going up against plant guys. And I can't think of anything else that would want to use a flamethrower for. More than that, at least. Let's just hope that uh, we can get in range before they start spitting that acid junk at us. Oh, oh. No, a little too far. Ready? There we go. I think you're down for the count. No! 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 Bad plant thing! Well, I got him. I got him. But I died. Damn it. 
I knew I should have taken out a first aid spray with me. I got two. They're there for a reason. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Well, now I know what I'm doing. So. Let's just jump right back in. I mean, it's it's not even like it's far away. I can cut all out all the middlemen. Once again, stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Now, I'm wondering if we can use that gas spraying system instead of uh, lighting the fuel on fire in order to take care of that uh, triffid hanging from the ceiling. Let's also drop off the key. Someone was telling me, why are you carrying around the knife? I think I said that already earlier. Um, when you never use it. Uh, well, in case I run out of ammo. <laughs> I mean, I know I have quite a bit of ammo on me right now, and I'm probably not going to run out of it anytime soon, but... I still don't want to be caught with my pants down. <laughs> Plus, like I said, I've grown a little fond of the knife. It's a, it's a very... a very nice knife. It makes me feel safe when I hold it. And like I said, I use it to sync up. <laughs> Sometimes. Also, I keep wanting to hit R2 to switch my items. This is not Metal Gear Solid, Alex. This is Resident Evil. Get it right. <laughs> Alright, we can skip those triffids. Go right here. Get that flamethrower. Oh yeah, get that flamethrower. <laughs> oh, pick up the research notes. Or security notes. I mean, that's not as important as the uh, guest password thing, but might as well. There we go. Now let's turn this on, because I... Maybe... Maybe it will kill it. No. Okay. This might not have been a good idea. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking, okay. We, we just filled the room with gas. And then we lit some more gas on fire. That may not be the best idea. Well, it wasn't that terrible of an idea. Alright, shotgun time. Let's get ready. Because we know exa I know exactly what's coming. I like how the I like how the the air duct shifts a little as I walk up it. Take that, you sons of bitches. Oh, want some more? That's right. <laughs> that was much easier. Jeez, I should have done that to begin with. Alright, get around. No, go around. <laughs> Get that ammo. Oh, yes, I'm taking as money as... Oh, I'm taking all those shotgun shells. Forgot to check it a second time, didn't I? Is there anything else in there? No. Anything else anywhere in here? Destroyed by the plant. Destroyed by the plant. Can I check those bodies? No. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Collect these ink ribbons and leave. <laughs> Two things left to do. Totally didn't forget that uh, <laughs> to collect that I had to collect the ink ribbons. And then let's destroy those triffids. Should be easy enough now that we've got well the flamethrower, and we'll be right next to the shutter once we open it. I really wonder what that gas is gonna do. Yes, I'll push it. All right. And does this lead us back to the blue area? Aha! Too bad. Missed me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Take that. You jerk. Jeez. That acid really hurts. Oh, we got a first aid spray. Probably shouldn't have used it just for those two guys. I probably should have been a little bit smarter about how I faced them. I tried. I got one of them right away. It's just... <sighs> the camera angles. The 
camera angles. And I, I understand. It's Resident Evil 2. Camera angles. It's a big thing. You gotta have the crappy camera angles. Otherwise, what, what else are you gonna do? You'll be able to see everything. You can't have that during a Resident Evil game. What do you think this is? A Resident Evil game? <laughs> do I really want to go down there right away? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any other way to go. That's the problem. Oh, there's another green herb over there, though. I will take that. I only saw one at first. Combine them right away as well. Yes. I'm gonna hold off on going down that ladder, because I know that there's one more door that we haven't checked yet. Near the security office where we dropped off Ada. And... Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, you guys respawn. That's not good. Please don't be in here. Good, this is still a safe area. Relatively safe. I mean, I have no idea if there's going to be things in the future, but... For now, I can rest easy at least. Alright. Yeah, there's this room over here that I want to check. Wait a minute. Can you do anything with the window? No. Okay. Because I don't know... An elevator. Pressing the button has no effect. It hasn't been used for a long time. Okay. So now I know that we do have to go downstairs. Oh, uh, okay. I probably should have checked that right away in the very beginning. But, eh, you live and learn, you know? Especially when it's a blind LP. Right, so next time we will descend into the depths of the lab, see what we can find and hopefully take care of this infestation, because I don't want... Damn! The damage that acid did from those guys was insane. Alright, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu. Take it easy.